Hey, it's Andy. Coming up, I'm going to show you six ways that you can use Notion's basic blocks to make your workspaces look amazing. I'll drop timestamps down into the description so that you can hop about. And if you've got any questions about any of these, then do let me know in the comments below. But other than that, let's get into it. So example one is just using some simple headers that I'm sure you're already aware of in Notion. So if I just go and show you here, we've got a top um, header one at the very top. We've got different uh, header levels here underneath, so subheadings and comments. And then we've also got some bullets and some toggles. So let me show you how to recreate this. So firstly, we want a header one. So on your keyboard, you can either press the hash key and then just space to give a heading one. Or within a block, if you just click the six dots, we can also go turn into and then we've got heading one. So let's just go and do that first. So this is he section heading. Then uh, if you want to go and create one of the dividers like we can see here, um, all you need to do is just go and press uh, the dash key three times on your keyboard, just like that, and that gives us a dividing line. And then we've got our subheadings. Now you'll see that these are made up of uh, four columns. Now you can go and drag these as columns, but I sometimes find that a little bit fiddly. So instead, if you just again press the forward slash key, col and then four you can see we've got four columns and if i just press return that's now created four columns if i hover you can see that we've now got four columns of equal width so let's put in our subheading so this one we want to have this as a heading two so let's put two hashes space to give us heading two and then this is subheading and then underneath we've got the comment so this is actually a heading three so three hashes space and then comment and then underneath, if you press the dash key on your keyboard like this, and then space, that will give us a bullet point. And then we've just got our point one, point two, and point three. So that's given us our first column. So now I'm just gonna go and do the headings here for the other columns. There we go. So I've gone and created those three uh, month headings. And if I hover, you'll see that we get the dividing line between these. So if I just hover here, and then we can just drag that over to make it the width that we want. And again, let me do that here for month three. And then underneath, you can see that we've got toggles. So to do a toggle, you can either use the six dots, turn into, and then we've got a toggle list. Or the way that I usually use it is if you use the um, the greater than, I think it is key on your keyboard, and then space, that then creates the toggle. We can then go and give it a label, so toggle one. And then at the moment, it's gray because there's nothing inside it. Um, but if I go and just put, for example, up here, we've got our bullets. So if I again just press the dash here, space, and then put in 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, uh, you can now see that it is black because it now shows that there's some content inside it. And then we would do the same just for month two and also for month three. The last thing is that in the example, we can see we've got a little bit of color in the backgrounds. Uh, so if I just click on the six dots and then go color, they just choose any background color. So for example, let's just do green. Uh, it colors the background for each of those headings. So let me just go and do the others. So that's the first way that you can create some simple headings, columns, toggles, bullets, and just go and make your workspace look uh, a little bit more interesting and aesthetic. In example two, we're going to use again one of the heading blocks, but color it. But we're also going to go and use what are all called call out blocks. So here, here you can see the example. Let me uh, again, let me show you how this works. So let me go and add the uh, section heading first. So again, we're just going to press hash and space. And then this is section heading. And then this time, uh, as we did in the previous example, we can go and color it in. So let's just go color and let's just go uh, pink. There we go. So that's now shaded in the whole um, of that block. Then we can put in our dividing line again with the three dashes. Um, so now uh, you can see above that we've got these boxes that are not colored in. So these are what are called call out boxes. So if I just go and press the forward slash and then call out, great. And you can see that it's got a, an icon at the start and you have to have an icon um, for these blocks. And then you've got the content underneath. So firstly, let's just go and choose our icon. So it doesn't matter. Let's just go and put maybe um, check this out with one of those pointy fingers. Uh, and then we want to go and put in the, the text at the start. So this is going to be subheading and we can go and make this bold. So if you just select it and then either in the little um, bar here you can select bold or you could just use the keyboard shortcut now if I press return it jumps out of that block but on your keyboard if you press shift and then press return it starts to make that block a bit bigger so underneath let's go and add our comment and this we don't want it to be bold so I'm just going to go and deselect on my keyboard bold so we've just got normal text and then underneath we want to have these bullet points now if I just go and press underneath and press the dash key like we did above it won't actually put the bullet point in so instead what we need to do is go underneath this block so let's press the dash and space to create a normal bullet point like we covered in the previous example now if I drag that 
into this call out block, we've now got a bullet. Let me just get rid of these spaces. So now we've got a bullet list uh, within our call out block and we just can just go and do point one and then press uh, return point two and point three. So there's a couple of little um, tricks there to go and get the type of um, blocks that you want within the call out block. Another thing that I would suggest is we don't want the background color. So if you click here onto the six dots, go to color and this time the background we want to call default background so if I select that one you can now see that we've got a white background and we've just got the outline as we have in the example so to get the columns again let's do the same as last time so forward slash col4 and now we can just go and drag the one this full block into that column there we go and we can go and resize it as well. Let me just go and show you once more. So quickly we want forward slash call out. Uh, this time let's go and do a different icon. So let's just type right. So we want a right arrow. So let's perhaps go and choose this one. Uh, we can go and add in the title. So month one, and let's not go and bold it this time. Again, remember to go and make that block, the call out block bigger, press shift and then return. And then let's just type some text in this month. Great. Now you may see above that this looks slightly faded and that's because I've actually made the um, the text grey. So again, this just is differentiating different um, importance of information. Uh, there are lots of different ways to do it. So in this instance, we could go and select grey as the font colour, just to show that it's some form of subheading. And then again, to do the bullet points, just press dash outside of the call out block to create the bullet and then drag it inside until you get the horizontal line. And then we can add our points. So point one point two and point three great i won't do the other two but you get the idea we can resize them so that's how you can go and use call out blocks to give a little bit of interest and structure to your layout for option three we're going to do a similar thing but instead of call out blocks we're going to use quote blocks so let me show you what this looks like so again we've got our section heading that's shaded in our horizontal line but then we've got, you'll see these are quote blocks and they've actually got a thick line on the left hand side. So let me show you how this works. So again, we'll quickly do our header. Now, rather than doing the hashes, you can also go forward slash and then just select what type of block you want. So we could go heading one and this is going to be our section heading and we can go and uh, shade that in like last time. So just hover over the six dots, go to color and let's make it blue. So we've got a blue background, three dashes for the horizontal divider. Great, so let's put our four columns in uh, first this time. So four columns, press return. Um, and then we want to have our subheading. And as I said, as I said uh, just a minute ago, this is gonna be using a quote block. So if I press forward slash and then quote, um, there we go, and then press return. So you can see that we've got space for our text and then this, horiz this uh, vertical line on the left-hand side. So let's just put in the title, so subheading. Now, two things. Firstly, is we can make this bold by using the usual bold um, in the toolbar, underlined italics, etc. Uh, but we can also change the size of these quotes. So if I go to the six dots, we've actually got quote size. Now, because this is a heading, let's make it slightly larger. So I'm going to select the large option here. There we go. So we've got our subheading. Then we can go and put our comment underneath and then just the dashes to put our uh, bullet points. So point one, et cetera, et cetera. So let me show you what a regular heading looks like here. So if I go into our second column, again, forward slash and then quote and then return and then month one. So type that in. So other options that we've got are firstly, we could use that as the regular size, but we could just go and bold a certain part of the text, for example. So just month one. Um, we can also go and color in the, uh, the the quote block. So if I go to the six dots, let's go color and make it yellow. So that's again, just gone and made it uh, stand out. So if I just press return and then we can again go and add our bullets. So just press the dash key and then just type point one, et cetera, et cetera. So there are a few options in there, whether you want different size of quote blocks, whether you want to bold them, color them, just to go and give a little bit of a different look to your workspace. For example four, we're gonna go back to call out blocks, but this time use them in a slightly different way. So if I show you here, we've got a call out block as our heading, and that's actually colored in. And then underneath, we've got another call out block, but that is uh, transparent. So it looks slightly different to separate the two types of information. So again, let me just go and show you how to do this. So firstly, let's just go and put in our regular heading. Um, so the hash uh, section heading, and then we'll go and color this in. So the six dots, color, and then purple. I need to go and drag this actually to make sure that it is full width. There we go. And then the three dashes to create our divider. So 
we want to have a call out block so i'm going to just press and type call uh, this time let's just go and give it a different icon again um so maybe just this one and this is going to be subheading and for this one we're going to color this in so let's make it green for example so this is going to be our subheading and then underneath we want to go and have a call out block which is going to go and be the contents underneath this heading so let's put our columns in again so call for return and then just drag this one that we've created into that column like so and then forward slash call out great uh, then we uh, again we have to choose an icon so for, let's just press maybe the hand to the right and then this is going to be comment uh, we could go and color this so let's for example go and say this is some sort of headings we're going to make this a blue content blue um, text let's also make it bold uh, and then underneath again just press the shift button and return to go and add a bit of space and then if we want to add our bullets in we have to be outside of the call out block press the dash to get a bullet and then drag it in like so and then we can just go and add our points of point 0.1 point 0.2 etc for this subheading at the top so let's just go and make this bold because this is obviously the um, the very um, top heading other things you could do so we could go and make this fully caps just to differentiate it just to show that it is a main heading and underneath we want to make this one transparent so let's just go to color default and that's how we can get a bit of differentiation so we've got bold and it's all in caps for that one and it's highlighted this one is more of just an outline it's in lowercase and uh, it's not colored etc uh, etc et in fact we could even make this one gray just to go and make it sort of show that it's subservient to the main heading and of course you can do this for all of the different columns so that's another way of using call out blocks and just pick the one that sort of works well for your workspace the fifth example actually uses a call out block differently for the main heading and then we're going to use just normal text blocks for our subheadings so let me show you so here this is actually a call out block at the top and then underneath we've actually just used normal text blocks um, with a little bit of variety so let me show you this one so firstly we want to go and create our call out block as our heading so call out uh, let's just go and say that this is uh, let's choose an icon so to the right uh, this is going to be our section heading we can go and make it bold um, as before and let's just go and color this in just to go and show that it is a main heading and that's going to go right across all of our columns then let's create our column so call four now here, this is actually just a regular text block. So if I just type in subheading, so let's just make it bold to show that it is a subheading. And then here we want to write comment and then just go and unbold that using the shortcut on your keyboard. Then we can put a little dividing line actually just into the column rather than across uh, all of them. So again, the three dashes, that's, as you can see, it's just put in a horizontal line, but just for this column. And then we add our bullets in the usual way. And we can now want to go and show that this is a header. So we can go and color just this regular uh, text block. So let's go and make this, for example, uh, pink. There we go. So it's now gone and added a subtle color to this um, heading, even though it's just a regular text block and putting in the dividing line just adds a little bit more interest. And you can do that for the same um, for the other columns. I won't show you in the interest of time, but that's how you can just use your normal uh, text blocks to color your workspace. And last but by no means least, we've actually got two more different types of basic blocks in Notion to go and format your workspace. The first one is actually a code block. So that's the one that you can see here at the top. And then we're going to actually use tables. So this is a little bit different. Now with a code block, as you can see, it gives you a lot of space around the text, but you can't actually format the text. Um, so if I just go and show you, if we just type in here code, so you want a code block and return, just make sure, I don't think this matters, but uh, I would still just go and type in here plain text. Uh, and now you can go and add in whatever text you want. So this is a header. So in here, you can still make it bold and do the other sort of formatting here. You can underline it or make it italics, etc. But you can't change the sort of the font or the size of that. Also in here, you can we can, get, we can still change the color. So in here, let's go and make this a yellow background for that text. So you can still format in certain ways, but there are a couple of restrictions as well compared to some of the other blocks. But it gives you a lot of padding around it so it does still stand out now underneath we've got these tables so let's again add in our four columns and instead if you press forward slash we want here to create a table now by default it creates a two by two uh, two by three sorry table but we actually want to go and get rid of some of these so if you click on the six dots in the table and then we can just go and click delete and also we only want to have one column so let's go and delete this right hand column great so now we've just got two cells now we want to go and firstly format these so we want to go and make the top one um, yellow. So if I go and here, click options and then header row and then just click this toggle, you can now see that the top one is colored. And if I go and click here on the six dots, we've then got color and let's just go and pick this as yellow. 
So we've now highlighted and colored our sort of header row. And if I just drag this handle, it will fill up to the column. And then if we go further, it will then go and create a scroll bar. So we just want to pull it in just so that scroll bar doesn't appear. Now we can go and add in our heading, so subheading. And again, we can go and make that bold or we could make it unbold. It doesn't make too much of a difference. And then underneath, we've got the body. So what we would want to add in here, so we can add a comment. After you've typed into the uh, table, if you then just press shift and return, you can then start to increase the size of this cell. So here we can then go and put in a dash and then put in 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc. Now you can't drag other blocks into a table. So unlike a call out block, if we've got a bullet here, if we drag it, it you can't put it inside this table. So if you do want to have some sort of bullet call out, uh, then just use a dash instead. It still works just as well. Again, we could go and color this. So we could make this a different color by selecting the six dots within the table and be careful because you've got the six dots for the whole block and then you've got the six dots just for that cell. So click the six dots, uh, we can go color, and then let's just go and make it, I don't know, blue. There we go. Um, and you can go and create the, um, the differentiation. So there are loads of different options there across all of these different examples for ways to go and add some structure, some color, some interest, some hierarchy, just to go and differentiate between different parts of your workspace. So I hope you found that useful. Do go and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and for more people to see this video. Again, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you do want to know more about how to use Notion, then check out this playlist where I've got loads more videos. But other, thanks so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.